Buildings suspended in the sky are an intelligent use of future real estate. But in the future, every square inch of every city will be alive with intelligence. Because every street and every building will have a network of microcomputers built right into them. Dr. Chris Peaster calls it smart dust. A smart dust particle or moat is a wireless sensor with sensing, computation, communication, and power in one package. These all-in-one microcomputers will be small, very small. The size of a moat today is about the size of a grain of rice. And we've shown that we can make the circuitry small enough and light enough that eventually it will be possible to make things that are on a sub-millimeter size scale. Tiny specks of computer smart dust will form a vast invisible network that can help manage the infrastructure of even the largest city. Smart cities in the future will take this low power, inexpensive, small technology and basically distribute it everywhere. These tiny computers record information about their surroundings, information they can send to other computers or to you. Smart dust on the tracks will monitor your commuter train so you know if it's running late. Potholes will be able to report themselves and warn your car. And you'll never have to wait for a radio traffic report again. They're monitoring the flow of traffic and giving you alerts about what route is the, the right way to go to keep the traffic moving. Bridges will get a coating of smart dust particles that can warn us when they detect stress fractures, helping avoid deadly collapses. But smart dust will also allow buildings and streets to recognize you and respond accordingly. I think increasingly, the environment will respond to who we are and adapt in consequence. The city will know where you are if you want it to. Your workplace will know you. Smart dust at the entrance will boot up your computer. And smart dust embedded in the elevator doors will automatically ring your floor. Smart dust is going to sense the environment and allow us to improve the way that we live our lives.